this presentation shortly explains the calculations in an example that you can see at this website mathgurukul.org so to access the transcript just you know click on cal calculus as i did before okay click on differential equations go to lesson 7 okay and here is the lesson 7 and uh, there is an example on the page 32 it will be a good idea to read through the previous pages okay and I am explaining this example on page 32 to you briefly that how to use the methods of Laplace transform to solve uh, this differential equation okay involving direct delta function okay so we would like to solve this initial value problem that's on page 32 of the lesson 7 on my website okay mathgurukul.org then just go to calculus click on differential equations and lesson 7 uh, will be available to you so what we would do is we are solving this equation involving direct delta function okay and then what's the strategy here we take the Laplace transform of this differential equation so we just take Laplace transform it's linear you know when we have constant coefficients here okay and uh, remember this that we have already seen that the Laplace transform of derivative of a function is equal to you know negative of the initial value at 0 plus s times the Laplace transform of y okay now when we do say when we have to derive the Laplace transform of the second derivative we can just treat d2y over dt square as the derivative of y prime meaning the first derivative and a simple extension will help you arrive at this for Laplace transform of the second derivative now and for delta 2t remember this here for delta at we have already derived that the Laplace transform is e to the negative a s so what happens is the Laplace transform of delta t delta 2 t is e, e to the negative 2 s so now we will go ahead and uh, substitute all these values that we obtained uh, in this equation that was obtained by taking the Laplace transforms okay so here we go here are all the values all we have done is that just substituted uh, this uh, value down here right here okay and uh, then uh, in the next one we did what this uh, value down here we have substituted that here this is simply l of y and this is simply e to the negative 2s all right so what we are going to do now is like our objective is to solve for l y because uh, our strategy is what that we will obtain the value of the laplace transform and then we will take the inverse Laplace transform okay to find the value of y so it's just like you know regular routine algebra to go ahead and collect like collect like like terms and then uh, isolate the terms that are involving L or Laplace transform of y on one side then solve for it and here we have the Laplace transform of y okay so then next thing to do would be what to obtain y all we have to do is just take the inverse Laplace transform and which is also linear over the these constant coefficients okay so 
what's our next task? We just want to know what are the inverse Laplace transforms of these functions so that we can find our answer. So let's look for this first. So we'll go to our table. Here is our table that we have created uh, through in lesson seven. And of course, this one is in your book also. Okay, so here, first say we are trying to obtain the inverse Laplace transform of this. Now, if you compare this with every row, this comes closest to this one, doesn't it, right? So for this one, we are going to do what? Apply this row, all right? And the details are written out in your lesson, okay? So this was regarding the, this part of the equation that we are trying to obtain or the value we are trying to obtain. And for the next one, which is uh, this, what you will see, this comes closest to what I think, yes, this gets closest to this one. If you look at the, we have e to the negative 2s, and then we have a function of s whose uh, Laplace transform, or whose inverse Laplace transform, I am sorry, looks familiar. So for this one, we are going to concentrate on who? On this part here, all right? So let's proceed in this manner. Now we come back to this equation, and in order to match uh, all these values to calculate the inverse Laplace transform, we shall use the technique of completing the square to rewrite this expression in this form. And uh, then again, if we match it with the table values, see right here, I have S minus A here. Here I have S plus one instead. And here I have a square of S plus one. So what does this give me? That the inverse Laplace transform of this expression is e to the negative t cosine t, and the same reasoning provides us this value, all right? And then for when we have e to the negative 2s as factor, but we know that the Laplace transform of this portion is e to the negative uh, t sine t, all right? then what we can do is this, that we can apply this inverse rule, all right, or the, the rule here by, to, to obtain this value, okay, with the heave side function, all right, and of course here we have to replace uh, t by who? t by t minus a, all right, and a in this case is how much? That's simply a two. Okay, so when we look at that, then combine everything, our final solution will be this, and just go back to the lesson and see the other details and get in touch with me if it doesn't help your question, okay?